So you guys remember my broken drive shaft? Got the new one. Took them about a week because I broke it last Thursday, called them Thursday, and they said to get one on the way. I'm gonna be here Monday and it's Wednesday. Wednesday night, just got it in. But throw that in and then the truck will be all ready to go again. I'm gonna try the uh, transition thing again, ready? Well, I just went quickly from very, very excited and happy to extremely disappointed yet again. Um, this is the type of shit that's like really, really frustrating to me. Um, like I said, I broke the truck last Thursday. It's a friggin' run of the mill Silverado. Like these things are literally everywhere. Um, but for some reason, nobody has a drive shaft or one. So I called Cumberland Salvage. Can I get a drive shaft? It was Thursday and they're like, all right, we'll get one ordered tonight. So I figured maybe Friday, but it'd be kind of tight. Probably not, not Friday, nothing Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, still nothing. Tuesday, nothing, so I call them. They're like, oh, we still don't have it. Wednesday, I call them in the morning again. Do you got it? No, we don't have it. They call me Wednesday night. I show up. They took the numbers, everything. They were like, oh, what, what number is it off the dash? This, that. And, uh, you know, I, I get it, pick it up, come home, go to put it in. It's not the right drive shaft. <laughs> And it's not off by a little bit. The thing is off by like a foot. Like, how is it that wrong, dude? So, I've been, it's not easy, dude, trying to friggin' survive with no vehicle to actually like drive and get around with. Um, like, this thing does all the work. This thing is the daily commuter. Like, yes, I have all this other stuff, but like none of them are road vehicles primarily you know what i mean like the pontiac i mess around a little bit the blazer needs the steering and brakes tightened up that thing's pretty close but i still have to do a few things with it before i can actually do it and it's not registered that thing still needs some work too it runs and drives good but it's not it's not like my daily ready to drive like it's not i don't want to drive the thing right now as a daily it needs work this thing is really my main truck so it's not easy dude spending the entire week without a vehicle pretty much and Finally, they get the drive shaft in and it's not right. And they're closed now, so I can't call them until tomorrow. And then I'm gonna call them tomorrow and they're gonna be like, oh, well, well what do you mean? Uh, isn't it a this, this, blah, blah? And I'm gonna say yes. And they're like, oh, okay, well, let's order this other one that it says it is. And then it's gonna take another week. This is the type of shit that frigging sucks. I don't wanna deal with this. But then again, I, I can't blame anybody. I'm the one that was doing the burnouts in the truck. I just, I didn't realize that it was going to be this hard to get a drive shaft for a Silverado. There's a buddy up the road, and he, well, I, it was a guy that had actually just sold the purple truck to, that purple single cab a little while ago, um, and he's doing work on it. He's not really actually going to be driving it for a while, so he currently doesn't need the drive shaft, so he said that I can borrow it until the salvage yard figures out how to get me another one, because um, it could take him another week or two. And he's not gonna be driving the truck, um, so I'm just gonna borrow that one off him. So, as always, what's not a roller coaster around here? Um, as I'm pulling out of the driveway to go to my buddy's house to get the other drive shaft, Cumberland Salvage Yard calls me and says that all the numbers I gave them were correct. They ordered the correct drive shaft, but someone at the other place that they ordered it from inventoried it wrong, so it's it's out of an extended cab, so that's why it's wrong. Um, so they found another one. It's in Auburn, which is the same distance from here to Auburn that it is from here to them. So, um, you know, I told them I could just get it because otherwise they said it would be here like late tonight or tomorrow again, and I don't want to wait. So I, I'm just going to take a quick run back to the salvage yard there, return this one, get my money back, and then hit Auburn real quick. So we just picked up the uh, new drive shaft. Um, like I said, come from the salvage yard tried to get it first. M&P Auto Sales was the place that I actually ended up having it, so I just picked it up there. I'm always like, I always try to be as nice as I can about like business and everything, but dude, M&P Auto Sales, the people there suck. <laughs> like, I've only gone there twice in my life, and both times they were absolutely ignorant as shit to the customers. Uh, my buddy bought a motor there once, and we put the whole motor in, like it took us like two days, and the motor was junk, it was knocking, and they were like, oh yeah, sorry about that. And it's like, you don't test them before you give them to customers. And it, on top of that, they were like jerks about it. They were like wicked ignorant, like didn't want to give your money back and whatnot. 
and that was a while ago and i was like oh it must have just been a bad day for them or something because my buddy like hates that place now he's like oh i'm never going to mp ever again and i just got the drive shaft and i show up there and there's this old guy i mean they're all a little older but like the oldest dude is like oh what do you want and i was like i called about a drive shaft and he starts asking me all these numbers he's like oh what year is it what's this what's that and every single time i tell him what it is he doesn't hear me i was like single cab long bed he's like what is it and i'm like a single cab long bed he's like what i'm what's the wheelbase of the truck dude it's a single cab long bed <laughs> and then he's like oh well is it four wheel drive yes is it four wheel drive like he just kept not listening to me and again i'm just polite to him the whole time even though he's already being a jackass the entire time and He's like 10 minutes into asking me about the truck and I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's already pulled. Like the guy just called me and told me to come pick it up. I don't think you gotta pull it out. And he gets mad at me for that. He's like, oh, well I have to see what kind of truck it is. He's like, that might be it. But, and then as he's like yelling at me, the other guy's like, oh yeah, it's right over here. I'm like, all right, thanks. That's all I'm looking for. And I go over and I get the thing and I, I pick it up and I go to pay for it to the guy that just pointed it out. Cause I didn't want to talk to the other old guy cause he's being a jerk. And as I go to pay for it, like 90% of places you go, especially salvage yards, if you pay cash, it's usually cheaper. Like every time you go, it's like, if it's like a $200 part and you pay cash, it's usually 10, 20 bucks cheaper. So I asked the guy, I was like, oh, is it, you know, is it cheaper if I pay cash? Is there any discount? And the old guy starts laughing at me and like pretending I'm stupid. He's like, he's like, oh my God. He's like, what do you think? There's a discount if you pay cash? It's like, yes. Yes, I do think there's a, there's always a discount usually when you pay cash, but but dude, the guy's just like making fun of me the whole time for asking if they're, like he's sitting there with his hands on his face. Like that was a stupid question. He's like, oh my God, you think there's a discount? It's like, dude, there's a reason this place has such a bad reputation. It's because of you. He was like some 70 year old dude and his nose was all crooked and he had a black eye because it looked like someone else didn't want to deal with his bullshit either and fucking socked him over the counter. I don't know, but I, don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if someone did that. That guy's a prick, dude. Um, but yeah, that's my second time at MMP Auto Sales. In, uh, in Auburn, so that place sucks shit. If you can avoid that place, I would say avoid that place. Doing good to me. <laughs> so guys, it's kind of dark on the camera. Um, I don't really make any extra videos until now, but the drive shaft is in the truck and it runs and drives good now. So it's officially fixed. <laughs> so, just picked up a little bit of transfer case fluid because when the drive shaft fell out, um, some fluid also fell out. So just, uh, just to top it off a little bit so it's not running a little low and I wanted to hurt itself and make me replace something else I don't want to replace. <laughs> 